Hi, this is Jessica DeMassa with WTF Health. I am here at Health Data Palooza, and right now joining me I have Todd Park. He is the co-founder and chairman of Devoted Health, and also a longtime fan and one of the first people involved in building Health Data Palooza. So it's nice to talk to you, Todd. Nice to speak with you. Good. So I'm going to jump in on the Health Data Palooza conversation. Yeah. I'd love to hear. So you were one of the first people involved with the conference from the beginning. Yeah. How has it changed over the last eight years? Yeah. So. Um, uh, it's changed in a lot of ways, and also I think in uh, a lot of ways hasn't changed. Which, okay. Both of which are awesome, by the way, right? So. <laughs> so how hasn't it changed? Let's start there. Yeah. So um, so it started as uh, a you know small group of us, right, mm -hmm. um, at uh, Health and Human Services, where uh, which is where I was at the time, Institute of Medicine, uh, Harvey Feinberg and Judy Salerno, who are awesome, uh, and a group of entrepreneurs and researchers, like uh, with everyone like maniacally passionate about harnessing the power of data to make health and healthcare better, right? Oh my God. <laughs> um, and what hasn't changed um, is that, uh, you know, <laughs> there are now 2,000 people right. <laughs> or whatnot who gather, you know, for, uh, for the Data Palooza, um, and there's still this maniacal passion that flows through everyone right. um, for how to make uh, healthcare better okay. uh, and health better, leveraging the power of, of data and innovation. So, so it's amazing to see that spirit. That. Good. Scaling, yeah. Okay, so it seems like we've been talking about interoperability like forever. Yeah. Have you seen like movement in a positive direction? So I think I think I think I think Brian Roberts uh, put it best this morning in the fireside okay. chat. Um, uh, and what did he say for those watching? He <laughs> said basically that we are still in the super early innings, you know. Um, and I would say that you know the the, the overall framework that the data Palooza has uh, been very uh, enthused about mm -hmm. and tried to advance since its very beginnings is the whole idea that. Uh, uh, liberating data um, at everything from uh, a market level, right, so, so you have transparency about what your choices are, to the individual level, like I, as a patient, can get my own data, right? Yeah. Um, that the combination of data liberation and incentive realignment, right, moving the incentives in healthcare toward help keep people healthy, mm -hmm. <laughs> as opposed to delivering volumes of services, that that's a double helix of awesome, right, that produces <laughs> greatness for America, right, you know, lives saved, lives healed, yes. right, you know, uh, cost reduced because that's a side effect of better care and better yes. health. Um, and I, I think Bri Bri Brian's right, right, okay. that we're in the super early innings of all that. Um, I think there's actually been more progress I would agree with him on the uh, incentive realignment. Uh, okay. You know, that's kind of also been a slow, painful road, but you can really begin to see the progress, you know, okay. which is very exciting. Um, I think you can actually begin to see progress as well on uh, health data liberation and operability, right? But it's it's earlier okay. uh, than on the incentive side. Um, and what I would kind of, uh, my own read of the present situation is that a bunch of foundational work has been done right, in terms of shifting minds, shifting opinions, and beginning to do basic work to lay the groundwork for, uh, you know, true healthy liberation and mobility, right? Yeah. Um, uh, and I think it's, you know, gaining in momentum, uh, <laughs> but uh, it's still early. Okay. Yeah, and there's still like a ton of work left to do. Uh, but, you know, the thing we always said about the data palooza, like back in the day, right, um, which continues to be true, is that, you know, it's, it's deliverable to the world, like isn't a specific data set made available, or even a specific new product built with the help of the data. Uh, the deliverable is an ecosystem. It's an ecosystem of data supply, of data use, of research and information, entrepreneurship, right, right. powered by data, um, an ecosystem of advocacy, right, um, uh, that keeps advancing the ball relentlessly, right? Um, and what's very exciting to me right now uh, about the Palooza is that it really is, uh, you know, an increasingly uh, active uh, ecosystem with more and more dimensions and more people involved um, that can help advance the ball um, on uh, data liberation. Okay. Right? Uh, so how has the conversation changed over the years? Um, so um, I think it's gotten a lot more tangible, right? Okay. Yeah. So, so it's, not, it's, it's not so it's, conceptual. It's, 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 it's gone from, okay, yeah, the principles are now well established, right, yes. to, okay, what are we actually going to do? do? Okay, yeah. very good. Um, and, uh, and there are a bunch of, bun uh, in, in terms of the ecosystem broadly, mm -hmm. uh, even beyond the data pollutes ecosystem of like data liberation, like there's been a bunch of stuff that's been tried, and some of it's failed, and some of it's worked, right? And both have been very valuable learning experiences, <laughs> and the ecosystem then iterates from there, right? Um, and that's another rule I see of data pollutes, which is that, uh, you know, uh, if you don't learn from every experience, right, uh, then that's a problem because <laughs> then, then you'll waste the learning and have to learn it again, right? Um, and data pollutes is kind of like a, 
central nervous system, if you will, right, um, that uh, allows uh, innovators across all aspects of data liberation and use to share the learnings with each other, right, uh, and not have to kind of repeat past mistakes and not have to repeat learnings from past successes, right, uh, but to help everyone get that much smarter, that much faster, um, uh, so that we can make more collective progress as a, as a nation. Yeah. So what are you most excited about for the future? What do you think lies ahead? I mean, whether in, in this Health Data Palooza context or, yeah. you know, even kind of on the data liberation yeah, theme. I think that, I think that that you know, with, with data liberation and with incentive realignment, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you can kind of have like a like which comes first um, uh, argument, and and the answer is you have a, a side you need, that you're favoring in that. Well, I think you need both, right? Well, yeah, uh, but uh, for which sure. Was um, come first. <laughs> but I actually think that um, incentive alignment uh, making progress um, actually is very helpful to data liberation. Yeah because it begins to create a business case for the data to be liberated and used, mm -hmm. right? And begins to create pressure for that to happen. Yep. Uh, begins to make businesses that help do that viable uh, because if you keep people healthy and now actually increasingly is the profitable thing to do, right? Mm -hmm. For various entities in the ecosystem. Yep. Um, so I think, uh, I think it, is, it, is, it is actually um, useful to think of uh, our collective progress that way. Um, and uh, what I'm very excited to see, right, is in that uh, kind of growing part of our healthcare system uh, where the incentives are actually aligned increasingly correctly, right? What kinds of new innovations and products and services and businesses are now going to be viable yeah. um, that just didn't have any room in, in which side to operate, right? Um, and so I think the next you know, five years are going to prove to be uh, even more interesting uh, with a lot more progress because um, uh, of that phenomenon, yeah. Very cool. Well, Todd, thank you so much for stopping by and Thanks talking so to with us. Oh my gosh, it's a pleasure to hear from you and hear kind of this macro perspective on Health Data Palooza. I love it. Thanks so much. This is Jessica Damaso, WTF Health at Health Data Palooza. Thanks so much.